Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the HD 02 infrared thermal image camera. Now my main usage for this device will be for testing 3D printers, chargers and batteries, but this device is also very useful for example if you're an electrician, mechanic, plumber, technician or you just want to own the cool device that can show you the thermal image and the temperature variation. This device not only that measure the temperature and show you in infrared, you can also blend visible and infrared image too. And if we flip the box on other side, we can find full specification for this device and I will just mention some of them. But you can always pause video and read them all. So this thermal image camera has 2.4 inch wide angle high resolution color screen, resolution of infrared image is 3600 pixels, resolution of visible image is 0.3 megapixel, range of temperature measurement is from minus 20 to 300 degrees, accuracy is plus minus 2 degrees, it used the micro SD card to store images and the 4 GB micro SD card is included. For power supply this device uses 4 AA batteries, battery life is 6 hours and the weight of device is 320 grams. And now let's open the package. It's a very nice and simple package. Inside you're gonna find this carry strap. Let's put it on the side and you're gonna find this nice case with the camera inside and the instruction manual. Let me just move this box away. First we're gonna take a look at the manual itself. I'm gonna show you every page but I will not go in all details. You can always pause the video and read everything if you prefer. Here we see what this instruction contains and then we see introduction, what is this device, how we can use, safety feature, performance index, product description, structure, many description, how to install the batteries, measurement, color palette, image mixing from 0 to 100%, image capture, and the last is emissivity, which can be adjusted depending on the surface. Now let's have a look at the case. The carry case is a soft type, interesting design with these zippers on the side. There is a two place for the carry strap and a plastic hook. It's open on the top, like so. Let's take it out from the case and remove this plastic foil. The device is made from the plastic, but the yellow color plastic is coated with the rubber, so you get a better grip. Nothing special on the sides. On the back of the device there is a LCD and the six buttons. On the front side, from the top till down, there is a thermal camera, visual camera, LED flash, and the trigger for the snapshot. On the bottom there is also a threader insert, so you can mount this camera on a tripod or a stand. And on the top, under this rubber cap, there is a place for micro SD card for storage or snapshots. Like I already mentioned, this thermal camera is using 4 AA batteries. For installing, you just slide this battery door cover and insert battery inside, like so. Careful about the plus and minus. You get a label how to install the batteries. And then the battery door just clicks into place. Let me just remove the plastic cover from LCD and we're gonna start the unit by holding the menu button placed on the left upside. And the device is on. Up and down button is used only for in the menu and the left and right button is used for selecting between infrared and the vision camera. Let's try first on my hand. This is with a vision camera. And if I click on the right button, I can mix infrared with the vision camera by 0, 30, 60 or 100%. This is with 100% infrared. To go in a menu, just click on the menu button on the left side. And then using the up and down button, you can scroll to the menu. And by pressing the select button, you can select something, for example, brightness. And then using up down button you can change the settings. And then clicking again on the select, 
you confirm that settings. This stands for a temperature unix settings, default is 0. Next is a background temperature settings. Then the capacity of your memory card. And this color palette you can also change. There is a different pattern that you can choose, but I'm gonna leave it default. Next is the emissivity that you can change depending on the surface that you measure. This settings is for the spot temperature, you can add minimal and maximum. This is a device temperature, time and date, image gallery, and we're back at brightness. That was the menu. And now let's do some measurements. On the upper left corner of the screen you can see the temperature reading. On the right top side of the screen you can see battery indicator and emissivity. Default is 0 0.95. And clicking on the left and right button you can select mix percent of infrared image. And clicking on the trigger, you trigger the snapshot and then you can choose to save or not to save your image. The picture resolution is in 360p and this video is a 4K so I have to upscale a bit. But the quality is a pretty decent. This is my soft box and you can see exactly where the bulbs are. How the heat is spread. This is the heated bed of the CR10 mini. And the thermal picture from 0 to 100% infrared. Very cool to see how the heat is spread. And here are the photos that I took. Moving next, this is my Xiaomi laser projector. And here we can see how the heat is transferred to the exhaust grill on the left side. Very cool to see heat signature. Here is the photo. Moving next, this is my 10 amp e-bike charger or the power supply if you prefer. On the top side of the case, there is a two MOSFETs where I'll place the small heatsink to help heat to escape. And it's very cool to see how the heat is spread to the charging process. Of course, this is only the start and the power supply will go much warmer than this. And the picture sample. And if you don't know what to measure with your new thermal camera, you can always find your cat using your new Predator thermal vision who sleeps in your bed without the permission. Gotcha! And here's a few samples that I took when I was playing with this thermal camera. Alright guys, that was my review of HT02 infrared thermal camera. I think this is a pretty cool device, very useful. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to check this unit, have a look in the links in the video description. Until next time, take care and... Bye-bye.